welcome into College Football Live. Trevor Maddich and Marcus Spears hanging out with me, Jen Latta, today. Guys, the Oregon fan base and the program's 2018 recruiting class wanted an answer. Now they have it. Willie Taggart will be making the cross-country trip from Eugene, Oregon to Tallahassee, Florida to become the Seminoles' next head coach. Taggart, a guy who grew up a Florida State fan and has ties to the Florida area. Trevor, I'll start with you. Is Taggart the right guy for that gig? He is absolutely the right guy. There's a couple of reasons. One is that at his fundamental core, he's a hardcore demanding football coach, big on fundamentals. And then from a standpoint of the fans, he runs a unique, innovative, fresh offense that'll be a lot of fun to watch that will maximize that great talent. Look, in this arm's length race now in college football where you have to have great recruiters and guys that are familiar with the landscape, this is the perfect hire. He went to high school in Bradenton, Florida. He understands the culture in Florida, which is very important. As you see, Mark Rick had the success in Miami, understanding that dynamic as well. I think it's a home run for Florida State and Willie Taggart. Now he has to go win some games. Yeah, you talk about the culture in Florida. I think one of the things that's happened the last two years to Florida State is they get so many four- and five-star recruits in there that have never really known adversity in their athletic lives. All of a sudden, last year and this year, they had adversity, and I don't think they really knew how to handle it. Taggart's the kind of a guy that's just no flash at all from a standpoint of the way he coaches, his mentality, the way he leads. And that's not to say anything negative about Jimbo Fisher, just to say coming in, Willie Taggart, I think, will be able to teach those guys how to handle that kind of Adversity, so when you get a quarterback injured and other bad things happen, they don't fall off the map. Well, yeah, Trevor, to your point, the discipline, man. We heard about the stories that came out of Oregon with the hard workouts and the military-style basic <laughs> training preseason. I think Willie Tiger understands that guys down there respond to that. When you've been around a place for a long period of time, you kind of understand what it takes to get a team to the next level. And I think, look, a lot of people will bring up the record. He's turned around every program he's been with. You look at UCF when they had, I mean, USF when they had Quentin Flowers, and he was able to bring that team to a 10 and 2. Just give it time. Everybody relax. You got a good head coach that understands what it takes for a disciplined football team to hit the field and win games. This is really rough timing for Oregon because we're in a coaching market right now where the, the demand is greater than the supply of high-level coaches that are proven. And by leaving at this time after a lot of other guys have already been locked up, coaches that are proven, guys like Dan Mullen to Florida, some young guys like Scott Frost going to Nebraska, all of a sudden Oregon now is coming in late. And it'll be interesting to see what they do to bring in a coach that they need for that caliber of program. All right, well, you mentioned it being a tough time for Oregon. It is important to mention the recruits who are at Oregon, who Willie Taggart got there, and I believe the number six recruiting class that he had lined up for 2018. Taggart teams have now qualified for four bowl games in his career. We don't know if he's going to coach the bowl game for Oregon this year. I think a betting man would say he's probably not going to. He's only coached in one of them during that tenure. Is it a bad look to leave a program after just one season, Marcus? I don't think it's a bad look. I think, especially in this case in particular, this is probably one of Willie Taggart's dream jobs, and you can't pass this opportunity up. Now, people will bring up the fact that he hadn't participated in the bowl games, but those were opportunities for him to level up, for him to move up to another program, give him more responsibility, and go be in a position where he thinks is leading his career as a head coach. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when you think about what Willie Taggart has done, Every step has been a move up. And the thing is, when you look at it from a dispassionate level, in other words, not you were only with our team one time and I'm wearing my Oregon colors and I'm mad at you. If you step away from that and look at it from a big picture standpoint, from a human level, what a great opportunity for him. Yes. He gets to back to his home state. He is in one of the, the three really premier opportunities that are in that home state. Miami, Florida, Florida State are the best. And all of a sudden it opens up. And would Oregon fans have felt better if he'd have been there two years or three years? On a human level, I think it's okay to be sad for our program right now, but happy for the man that his dreams are coming true. Absolutely. And you get the coach in the ACC, which is a premier conference 
in college football with an opportunity to play in the college football playoff and have an opportunity to play against Clemson and some other great programs and kind of measure yourself against those guys who are thought of as premier college football coaches in the country. At Florida State, we all know this. There will be opportunities for you to be prime time in huge games. And Willie Taggart may just be a program away from ascending himself into that type of conversation with some of the competition that's on the schedule and some of the games that will be premier games when we show them on here at ESPN. I love the level up reference, Marcus. And bottom line, you cannot control when your dream job is going to open up. Obviously, we know that he has been good for Oregon and will likely be a good fit at the new place as well.